Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 8 of Rustic Waters 2. And um, I've done a bit of stuff, a bit of work. I went back to the Oasis and I got some vines. So I'm in the process of replacing the ladders with vines. Um, I think I've done one. Well, I've done two sides. I should do the other side as well, to be honest. Um... So I've done that. Um, I went and hooked up the drawers here. Very simple. I just used uh, item pipes to bring them across. So they're all in a line, not very complicated. I probably should have made it a bit more compact. I don't know. Um, I'll think about it. Um, added hoppers and more compact pipes. Let's go around the back. More compact pipes, compact pipes, item pipes, to um to put in the coal coke. Actually, yes, there's no more charcoal, so I need to fill that up. Also, I um you could probably just see the pipe there. I went and I have a pipe going from my chest up to um a chest in the up in my base. So then, oh, there's only five uses left, so these are going to break in a minute. That's what, two? That's five, okay. So yes, yeah, so I'll have to come and replace those in a second. Oh, cool. Um, uh, what else did I do? Let's get these while I remember. So they come up into this chest here, and I just take out stuff. Uh, andesite, andesite, gravel. Oh, driftwood. I have something to show you guys with the driftwood. I will show you in a second. Are you going to break? Yes, no. Let's get some air. When you click on this, you get Two, three minutes of water breathing and five minutes of night vision but it seems to interfere with the hat which is a bit weird but there you go all right put you on you got two use i wonder if these um if these will recharge in the repair chest all right we'll leave that there so today what do i want to do um we're going to start the next chapter which goes more in more in depth with create stuff and i want to get the crafting table the very pretty crafting table that i've never done and should be interesting driftwood let me show you the trick with the driftwood now a um, couple of episodes back i discovered that you can put them in the crafting table and you get two back for each piece of driftwood driftwood however if you put them on the campfire you get back six for each piece so that is like okay that is that is mad so now we've got 24 for four bits of driftwood so i don't know if there's a way to automate this but that's just something I thought I would show you guys. Right. Put these away. Where's my driftwood? Did I? I oh, know this side. Right. Today's episode, today's session is. Um, are they all different colours? Or is it just the lighting? I swear they're all different colours. At what? That was some kind of Superman move right there. <laughs> anyway, right. Um, right, so first of all, we need to make electron tubes. So to make electron tubes, we need redstone glass, which is any glass? Glass colorless. Okay, the one with the little blocks in it. Oh no, it's any glass. All right. So we need to make redstone glass. 
Let's go get some copper. Okay, I put everything I think that we need. Well, some of the stuff we need. Right, um, I got on sidetracked. Let's start this bit again. Right, um, we need redstone glass, we need copper wires, and we need a piece of silver. So let's get three bits of glass. I can't remember if I put any, I might have here. There's exactly three. All right, I probably, oh, that's um interesting. Uh, iron, stone, backpack. Okay, um, want sand. Get a stack of sand to make glass. Right, so we've got three pieces of glass. We need redstone, which is out here. No, nope, that's marble. Don't need that. Right, it's redstone glass. And we need copper wire and silver. Right, copper. Which is brass, nickel. Do I? Really? That's all the copper I have? Five pieces? I thought I had more than that. I swear I'd put more to melt down. Okay, um, copper is that one. Okay, I did a lot of mining as well. So, that was interesting. I went down to bedrock, but there's nothing down there really. I mean, I found a ravine, which was good. But, um, but yeah, there's not much in terms of, it's not like traditionally you go down to Y15 or Y13 and you find diamonds and stuff. I really didn't find much of that. I didn't go into the ravine because I didn't have enough, um, torches. So there's that. Um, silver. You know what? I probably need to put a furnace out here as well. Save me going back and f back and forth. Says tin silver. Right, so the rest of the copper is heating up or smelting, I should say. All right. Um, copper wire. How many of these things do we need, though? We need eight. Okay. Copper wire. I can do no because they need to be turned into plates oh oh that is annoying all right and the other copper take you out and then put you in and the plates no Oh, okay. Shaped recipe. Other side. Alright, so at least then we can make two of these. And then I will make the rest and get back to you guys in a second. Right, so that's the tubes made. Um, we get a hub key fragment. And then we need to make 16 mechanical crafters. I was looking through the recipes and they all seem the, the biggest seems to be four by four. So I don't think you need any other, um, any bigger. I've seen some people make a five by five, but when you look in JEI, uh, let's type in it's mechanical crafter, look at the recipes. I noticed that they all have this number next to it, so that's obviously the size of the recipe. And the largest one is 16 that I've seen. 
so we need a four by four. So what recipe do we need for the mechanical crafter? All right, we need an electron tube. We need brass casing. We need a crafting table. We need two cogwheels. All right, the cogwheel, I need to put that back on my hotbar. And brass casing, oh joy, more aluminium. And treated wood and brass rods and brass rods, it's two brass. Okay, again, because I'm not going to subject you to me running backwards and forwards and getting stuff. I will get it. Is this brass? Yes, it's brass. So I will sort out and I will come back in a moment. Okay, so I've made everything enough to make the mechanical crafter a 16. Well done. Why am I saying well done? <laughs> I think that was just very automatic. <laughs> oh, my days. That's not what I went to do. Right. So we get a building gadget, but of course we need to charge it. It's got to be some kind of something. All right. So a depot. A depot is used to hold on. Hold, hold on. Go back. All right, go back because I remember I'm not reading these things and I need to read them because I'm missing out important stuff. So the section. All right, we read that bit. Uh, the mechanical crafter multi block runs on crates rotational energy. Place a single item in each crafter slot. If all slots match a recipe, it will automatically craft. If there are empty crafter slots, you can give it a redstone signal to tell it to start crafting. OK. Uh, depot right each block of the mechanical crafter has a directional arrow on it that can be rotated using the wrench in order to craft the item all the arrows must be directed to converge on the output ponder w over the mechanical crafter block to see an example okay so if we i'm guessing that's the depot so if we have the depot there all the arrows have to point to that point so it's it's like a conveyor belt, basically. Yep, right. Okay, so let's make a depot. That's andesite casing and andesite alloy. Do I have any andesite casing? I don't know. So let's go have a look. Yes, I do. And any alloy? Yes, we have that too. All right. Casing, alloy gives you a depot. And that gives me storage upgrade. Nice. Okay. Next thing. What does the copper spool do? The furnace engine is a rotational power generator that is fueled by the heat produced from the attached furnace or blast furnace. In order for this to work, the furnace must be smelting items. The blast furnace is more efficient, but only smelts ores. Okay. I'm guessing that has nothing to do with the um with the crafting crafting thing. All right, let's put this up then. All right, let's put this here. Um 16. Three, four. Um, scaffolds. I can make scaffolds, right? It suddenly occurred to me. I keep forgetting I have my crafting table on a stick. Uh, would help if you spelled correctly, Shay. Scaffolds. We have the proper Minecraft one. What's this? Uh, chisel. Replaceable scaffolding. Oh. I'll use this on a block to replace it. Fragile, responsive, and treated wood. Okay, that's something to remember. 
but you can put it midair, which is good. All right, anyway, um, we need that and we need some string, if I remember correctly. And that was why I went into JEI. Am I going to need more than six? Possibly not. I don't think so. No, why'd you go that way? Oh, because I was standing on it. Okay, so there's that. I think I'm going to have to change these so at least then they're, um, you know, they're more compact on this side. Um, right, so, yeah, let me do that. Where's my axe? I've just realized I'm sitting way back from my mic. I get all excited and I'm kind of like, ah, and I pull back and I shouldn't. All right, let's get some of this stuff out of my inventory. Not that. Axe, I think, is in my backpack. No, it's not. Then it's probably repairing. Yep. All right. Um, if we do two by two, that's two. Where do we go? Oh, there. I've noticed that there's, that happens with the time in the bottle. Sometimes it would like do. It looks like it's duplicated, but it hasn't. So that's a bit weird. All right, let's move the engineers. Oh, that took everything out. That was smart, Shay. Um, that's empty. That's um, not empty. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. And the table. Okay. Um, just dump every. No, not not time in a bottle. We want the time in the bottle. I just don't want that stuff to despawn, right? Because that would be criminal, right? Um. Okay. Right. So that's done. This I can now see. Right, so according to the picture, the depot is there on the side. So like, right, let's put it on this side. Okay, so that means then we want everything to point to the depot. Uh, where is my, no, it's not in there. Not in my backpack. In here, no, not. Uh, repairing in here, I think. Where's my wrench? Hand crank. Oh, I put it here. Because there's shelves. And, but you can only store one thing per shelf, which is a shame. Okay, so. That goes up. That goes out. How do you know which way? Okay. So if you look at the picture, they all go down to that middle line and then the middle line goes across. And these go up. So they all go down, <laughs> down, they all go, these go up, these come down and the middle line goes across. Right. That's what we have. Then. I need a shaft, uh, there's a shaft, and a cogwheel, okay, uh, mm. can I attach it to, no I can't attach it to that, I would need a gearbox, I would need a gearbox, alright, I need three more cog, cog wheels. All right, so gearbox is that. Okay, so we need um, a recipe to try this on. Yeah, mechanical crafter, recipe. Do they have something small that we can try? Storage terminal. What's a storage terminal? Shift. 
gives access to your items, place it on an inventory. Okay, we can make this. I know, but it says that you need a redstone signal to tell it, well, like a button or something. It said that you can, um, if there are empty crafter slot, slots, you can give it a redstone signal, tell it to start crafting. So like a button or a lever. But where would you put a button or a lever to that? I don't know. And I've seen people just put a, a chest here. Let's try that instead. Pickaxe. Need a pickaxe. All right. Um, right. Treated wood and glass. Um, what was it called? Storage. Storage something. No. Item shelf. Storage. Storage terminal. Oh, Tom's simple storage mod. I have no idea what that is. But it might be worth looking at it. All right, so let's bookmark that. So we need framed glass. No, any glass. No, it has to has to be framed glass. And framed glass is glass surrounded my aluminium. Yeah, it has to be framed glass. So. 16 aluminium uh, which one is aluminium silver tin did i finish it i might have finished it okay uh aluminium is that one i took out yeah took out a stack right really i got to learn not to pick up not to point at stuff with glass in my hand all right, uh, aluminium, um, put you in. And what did I want to do? All right, we're smelting the alumin aluminium. That's enough. That can smelt down. And I've got my crafting table on a stick. All right. Oh yeah, that was more than enough. Um. How many we needed? It was four, right? And for each four needs four, so that's 16. I do love a crafting table on a stick, but I don't always remember that I have it. So that's a pain. Right, treated wood is here. But it was two treated wood. Where's my glass? There's my glass. And two treated wood here, two here, and two here. And then I need to put a... Do I put a lever on it? I'm guessing a lever. Now uh, cobble. Cobble, stick, crafting table on a stick, lever or lever, depending on which side of the pond you're on. I say both, it doesn't really matter. At least to me it doesn't. Um, or can I just like click it? No, it says red redstone. It's doing stuff. I have to admit, this um, this animation really is pretty. It's pretty cool. And then it should all go to the side, right? Yes, <laughs> that's really cool. Right, so that works. That is awesome. Um, oh, there it is, storage terminal. Okay, it's down there. But looking across 
at the time I need to stop recording. So, but we did what I wanted to do, which to, was to make the mechanical crafter. I, I know I said this yesterday, but I don't know. Now I know why create scared me, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. It really isn't. So yeah, and that's, that's pretty cool. So now that we've got this on the system, how much stress do we have? It's still low. It's gone up 6%, but it's still low, which is fine. So we've made our mechanical crafter, which is what I wanted to do. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I've gone past myself. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>